All right, today we're going to uh, pick up where we left off last time, uh, where we got the holding tank installed, all the plumbing set, and tested for leaks and everything a-okay. Now we're going to work on the fresh water tank. And uh, yeah, just like with everything, change my mind on a few things how I'm going to do it. So uh, let me show you what we're going to do, some of the things, uh, ideas I've got, and then we'll get started. So just to recap, the uh, holding tank is in place and we plumbed for our drain and uh, also for our evacuation uh, drain so I can drain the holding tank um, once it gets full. Now to uh, keep this thing from moving around, I plan on using some, uh, I just got a piece of uh, aluminum bracket here, a little L bracket, and I'm going to cut probably two inch strips and secure those around the edge of the uh, tank here a couple on each side and that should keep it from shifting around while it's in travel so now our fresh water tank so I was going to use all the PEX fittings and install the water lines with the PEX but uh, as I learned with the holding tank uh, if I have any leaks then I have to disconnect everything tighten things up and uh, make sure they're sealed so with the PEX it's like a one shot I put it on clamp it and then I don't want to have to cut the clamps off so we're going to go ahead and use the vinyl tubing so I bought another fitting for the drain and I'm going to put my bulkhead fitting here on the bottom and also put one here on the top uh, for the fill and the fill is going to come in through here and the drain obviously is going to go out there my uh, pump is going to sit back here, so I'll have another bulkhead fitting probably about center of the tank and a line that will run straight to the pump. And once again, we'll put our little, little brackets here at the bottom uh, all the way around, and that will keep things from shifting. So my first task is take that aluminum bracket and cut those strips, get everything pre-drilled, and... Uh, Put things in place and then we'll start working on the lines so one of the things that uh, I've been thinking about is how I'm going to vent the tanks there's a plethora of parts out there that you can purchase uh, to vent your tank most of them are with the water fill in which you have to drill a hole in the side of your trailer about that big for for this fitting which has a fill and a vent that comes out and uh, I didn't want to go through a hassle of putting a pumpkin sized hole on the side of the trailer. So uh, the tanks are going to have to be vented in order for them to uh, uh, be able to pump the water without the tank collapsing and also to help drain because uh, once you open that if the tank is really sealed it uh, starts to drain so slow and really wants to suck some air. So here is my solution. So this is the fitting that I used on the bottom of the trailer and this is what I'm going to use also on the fresh water tank to drain the tank so I open the valve hose through here comes out the side of the trailer and uh, I'll be able to hook hook a line to this out into a drain or into uh, the grass or a field or something and be able to drain my tank but I'm also going to get a couple more of these and I put a fitting on the top of my tank and out through the side of the trailer and this will be my vent so I'm gonna take the lid and I'm gonna take all this stuff off and I'm gonna drill a hole in the center of this cap and when I do then I can take one of these stainless steel uh, filters for your hose and that will also fit on the end like this or this direction here I put the cap on voila I have a vent so easy fix these things are like three bucks so that's gonna work uh, but I'll have to wait to get those installed because I have to order them and they'll be here uh, within a week so with that let me go ahead and get my brackets here I want to get these cut and installed before I uh, fasten any more um, fittings and tubing because, well, 
once I get that in place, I don't want to have to take everything out. So hang on, let me cut these things, show you how I'm going to install them, and then we'll get the bulkhead fitting stuck in the uh, fresh water tank, and we'll begin to plumb that. So here are my little brackets that I'm going to use to hold my tank. And basically, I just took a uh, L channel, aluminum, and cut it in two inch wide strips, drilled a couple holes, and then I had some weather stripping that I had laying around that I put on the back edge here, and that'll be up against the tank, and that'll keep it from chafing the tank. So, all we need to do now is install a couple of these bad boys around our holding tank, place a couple for our fresh water tank, and uh, that'll be set. So here it is installed. I've got my brackets in place so our tank does not move around. I've got a couple around on the back side here, uh, the front, and on the side here, and on the back. I will put a uh, probably a piece of uh, wood because I wanted to keep it as close to the wall as possible. These are two inches. I could have trimmed something down, but uh, nope. So it is that way. Uh, probably a three-quarter inch board tucked in behind there with a piece of foam on it and that'll keep it from shifting this way but right now it's I mean if anything it's only going to move about a quarter of an inch so I am happy with that on to the fresh water tank all right so this will be the placement of the tank tank sitting here I'll have it supported by uh, my little brackets here so it doesn't move around uh, the bottom drain will go out the wall I need to uh, install the top for the fill and then this is where my pump will sit and I will probably put the bulkhead fitting just a little bit off center right here and that way I can run my hosing right to my pump then we can run a, a hose from the pump through the wall up to the sink and then we'll worry about getting that wired so my next step right now is to get some holes punched into the tank and uh, run all the plumbing and then we worry about getting the pump hooked up all right so we have our holes punched now we install our fittings and uh, then we'll be able to run some plumbing so let's get those installed so for the uh, fill and the drain I'm using a three-quarter inch and uh, I think that's going to work fine that up real nice and good like we'll get a we'll get our pliers and reef that down so unlike the holding tank I'm keeping the rubber on the inside this time oh yeah nice And then for our pump, I'm using a half inch um, coming out near the bottom here. Boom, just like so. Perfect. That's going to work. Awesome. So, I just need to clean the tank out a little bit, and then uh, we'll tighten these down, put it in place, and then we'll get our other fittings installed, and uh, be on the home stretch. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're testing out the fittings to make sure nothing leaks. I got the water filled just above the... Uh, bulkhead fittings here turn this one up the water lines about right there and uh, hopefully we don't see any leaks under here or over here 
or around anything and I think I'll be pleased so we're gonna let that sit there for a while and then uh, we'll come out and drain it and then we'll go ahead and install this and run our lines through the through the side of the trailer we'll have it hooked up here shortly okay so the leak test is done and uh, it passed so no leaks around any of our fittings and I'm happy with that now we just have to uh, figure out where we're going to come through the side of the trailer for the fill and for our drain and then we'll run a pilot hole and then we'll uh, we'll make a couple holes get some lines run okay so the holes are marked and I started pre-drilling on the inside now we'll go on the outside and come all the way through we'll get some nice holes Alright, a couple of nice holes cleaned through and uh, took a file and cleaned the edge up here real nice and neat like. So let's install some fittings. Okay, so we got a good deal going on here. Our holes are in and uh, I think before I start that next task I need to I need to do some cleanup. So I got some room to work around. So I'm gonna grab the vacuum, make sure my area is clean put the tank in place, go ahead and secure it, and then we'll install our fittings. All right, stay tuned. Here's a little trick I'm gonna use. Since my uh, my water pickup is about, well, it's about an inch from the bottom from here, I took a, I took a fitting, an elbow, and I ground it down. So it's about an eighth of an inch off the bottom of the tank. So I'm gonna install that that will face down and uh, be able to slurp up some more water from the bottom so I'll be able to use as much water in the tank as I can instead of leaving it about an inch or so from the bottom. That way I can get uh, much resource there. Not sure if you can see that but that's how it looks like on the inside of the tank and uh, so I'm about an eighth of an inch away from the bottom so I can pick up as much water as I can and uh, that's gonna work good deal alright now I just need to uh, find a fitting for here to run to my pump and get these run okay we're making a little progress here so I now have my fill connected and I have my drain connected and uh, getting those in there I should have waited to put the brackets on but um, either way they're in so it's looking uh, pretty tight now now what's left is uh, I need one more fitting that I can go from the tank to the pump so I need to make a store run to see what uh, what I can find and then uh, I'll have that hooked up and then probably what I'll do is fill the tank one more time check for leaks drain it and uh, be pleased with that then all that's left is just connecting the pump okay we're almost there so now we're beginning to connect the pump so I have the pump fastened to the floor and uh, about, about right where I want it. I have the filter in place and now I'm ready to install my hose to my fitting here except I need uh, some smaller clamps. It's not going to quite uh, cut it for this piece here. So one more trip to the store and we'll uh, get a couple clamps for that and then I have a piece of tubing left over that I will uh, put on the other side of the pump and probably pick up the rest of the tubing so I can run it to the faucet and tap a couple holes one here and then one inside on the 
bottom of the shelf and run it right up to the sink and then we can get that installed. Well this being Super Bowl weekend the uh, store was closed so I just pushed the fitting in and uh, if it leaks a little bit that'll be fine. I want to do a test run so I got the garden hose hooked up to the outside and I'm going to uh, push some water in the tank and make sure that we still have no leaks and uh, I plug the end off over here on the other pump side and hopefully uh, we don't have much water coming through but I do want to test make sure that we've got uh, the tanks pretty much sealed so let's give it a try We have the lid kind of loose, allow air to push out. That fills up pretty fast. Looks dry so far. Better go out and stop it. Whoa, right in the nick of time too. I'm like right at the right at the top here. Alright, so I don't see any leaks thus far. Make sure here. That looks good. Looking good. All right, I'm happy with that. Here in a second, we'll uh, we'll drain it and call it good. So the tank seems to be holding water well. Now I have a garden hose hooked to the drain outside and uh, ready to crack the valve on here and drain that tank. And I've got the lid cracked for venting since I don't have a vent just yet. And here we go. Boosh. Nice. Everything is working uh, as needed. Sweet. And I think I'll uh, jack the trailer up just a little bit so it's draining back. And uh, yeah, call that good. drain down pretty good. I'll tilt that trailer back just a little bit more and uh, get a little bit more water out of there but that's doing exactly what I want it to do so that's gonna be a wrap for that. So today we had some success so let me uh, clean up my mess, organize things, put things away, all my tools and uh, Make sure everything's nice and clean and dry. And then we will recap and call this video done. One last uh, quick look around. And we are cleaned up. Everything's back in its place. Everything is put away. About ready to call that a day. Oh, need a little light. There we go. Nice. Well, we got most of what we want to get to accomplish today accomplished. Uh, unfortunately, the store closed about an hour and a half, almost two hours early. So, other than that, we would have had uh, we would have had a line run to the sink, and the only thing left to do would have been wired it up. 
So we'll save that for next time. Um, holding tank is in, no leaks, drains fine. Fresh water tank is in, fills up, drains out, fine, no leaks. Uh, the next task will be to uh, run the line to the faucet and test out our water pump and uh, hopefully no leaks there. Then I got a couple of switches that we're going to install on the side and uh, we'll button that up. So we're getting really close now and uh, the weather's turning out to be really nice so I'm, I've got the itch. I'm uh, wanting to go. So we've got to get this done and on the road and uh, try it out. So with that, I want to say uh, thanks for staying tuned and uh, uh, show my gratitude with all those who have subscribed and made this uh, YouTube community very tight and uh, that's much appreciated. So with that, we're going to stick together and uh, with us small YouTubers, we will become the new community on YouTube and the big guys are going to wonder what happened. So anyway, thanks for uh, sticking it out, watching the videos, liking and subscribing and I hope you stick it out and uh, hey, in, in the near future we got to start another project. So thank you, stay tuned.